The current presentation that we're working with has one slide master applied to it. Well, believe it or not, you can have multiple slide masters on one PowerPoint deck. Some of you may have that already. Some of you may unintentionally have that because many users have had access to your PowerPoints. And sometimes this happens accidentally. What I'm gonna do now is do it intentionally so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll be able to go under the hood a little bit to be able to control it, add on some more manually, and then also delete them if we choose not to use them. So how do we do it from the front end here? Well, let's say for example, I'd like to have my title slide look completely different than the rest of all my other slides down below. So what I can do is go over here to my design and then I could find one of these themes. So if I click on my little drop down here, I'm just gonna choose, let's say for example, this one. I hover over that and you're gonna see it's gonna give me a slight preview of what it's gonna look like. Now, if I click right now, it's going to apply this design to every single one of my slides, which I do not want. But if I right click, you'll see here, I get the option to not apply to all slides, but apply to selected slides, which happens to be my title slide. So I'm gonna choose that. And now you'll see that only my title slide now gets affected. Now, of course, this makes my font not work and all that good stuff, no problem. I can very easily change that using my designer tab. Love that, that's great. And if you don't have the designer tab, you can always make changes to this on the slide master itself for this particular layout. Okay, now let's see what's going on behind the scenes in our slide master. So I click on view, go back to slide master, and I want you to notice now, as I scroll up and down, I now have two slide masters. Notice it says number one here, that's the original one I was working with, and now number two, and guess what? All these other layouts now appear with it. Let's get out of this now, and let's go back to the home, and let's see what happens when I click on new slide. Well, look at that. I've got my parallax design that I just created, and then I also have my integral design that I applied earlier. Look at that. So now I'm working with two slide masters. Some of you may really want that. So let's say, for example, every time I have some type of title, right, like this one right here, my what, why, and how, I want that to maintain the parallax design. So if I click on layout now, I can now say, hey, you know what, make this a section header uh, for just this one of the parallax design. I choose that, and you can see, boom, boom, and then it's gonna go right over here to all my other integral designs. So it gives you a lot of power and a lot of creative control. All right, so let's go back to my view tab. Let's go back to the slide master. And let's just say, for example, I wanted to do a brand new one from scratch. So you'll see here, I can say insert slide master. I choose that, and then a whole new blank one now appears. In addition to the pre-existing slide masters that I had before, my parallax and my integral slide masters. Now, if I like to, I could start to manipulate this and build it from the ground up, but in this case, I'm not going to do that, but it is nice to know that very easily I can do that. Some of you may even want to insert your own individual layouts and not just use the ones that PowerPoint has given us. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this class, but you can very easily do that and then start to really customize it with different placeholders, etc. All right, but what I'm gonna do now is just remove this. Two is enough, I don't need a third one, but understand if I did wanna work with this and I came back over to here to home and new slide, guess what, I've got three here. So I just want you to kind of train your eyes on this because for some of us, if we inherit something and people are really overusing this and there's too many people using this slide deck, you may have way too many of these. So the ability to delete your slide masters is gonna be a very good skill to be able to keep things nice and lean. So I'll go back to my slide master, and then what I'm gonna do is just simply click on this first main master for the brand new one that I did, and then just choose delete right here, and now the whole thing goes away. Now it's not gonna affect anything, so don't worry about it. So I'll go back here to close master view, and I'll scroll up to the top, and you can see very good, I have all the control in the world where I've got two slide masters on here with two different designs, and they are living comfortably and amicably side by side. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.